Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how you can create a voice translator app using MIT App Inventor. Over here, first you can click on this button to select the language to translate. Over here, you can see that we have three languages, French, Spanish and German. So you can always add in more languages, so you can translate to any language. But in this app, I have put only three of them. So now I'm going to click on FR for French. And now I'm going to click on translate so I can use the speech recognizer to translate. Hello, how are you? You can see that it translated, it shows the translation and it also using text to speech, it also speaks the translation in French. Now again, I'm going to select some other language like Spanish. And now again, I'm going to click on translate. Hello, what are you doing? You can see that again it translated and it uses text to speech to speak the message. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about creating your own mobile apps free and easily using a tool called MIT App Inventor which is block based coding and easy. So if you want to create fantastic mobile apps, start now by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon. I are going to put the title for this app. So for that, I'm going to bring in a label and the title should be at the center of screen one. So I'm going to change align horizontal to be center like this. Next, let's change the text of this label to be voice translator. Next, I'm going to increase the font size of this to be 30 and I'm also going to make the font to be bold like this. Next, let's go to the layout section and we are going to bring in the vertical arrangement for which the height and the width is going to be fill parent like this so that it occupies the whole screen of the mobile next i'm going to put the align horizontal and align vertical properties to be center for the vertical arrangement next we are going to bring in a list picker like this so using this list picker the user can select the language in which they want to translate so now i'm going to change the text of this to be select language to translate like this next i'm going to make the font to be bold again and i'm going to increase the font size to be 20 and I'm going to set the width of this button to be fill parent like this. Next, I'm going to change the background color to be blue and I'm going to change the text color of this button to be white like this. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to bring in a horizontal arrangement and this is going to be for spacing. So for this, I'm going to put the height of this to be 2% like this. Next, I'm going to go to the user interface and again, I'm going to bring in a button. This button is for the translation where the user can use speech recognizer and speed and then it will translate. So now I'm going to change the text of this button to be translate. Next, I'm going to make the font to be bold and let's increase the font size of this to be 20 again. Next, I'm going to put the width of this to be fill parent and I'm going to change the background color to be red and the text color over here to be white like this. Next, we are going to bring in a label. So after this app translates, it will show the result or the translation in this label. So I'm going to increase the font size of this to be 18 and I'm also going to make the font to be bold. Next over here, I'm going to put translation and over here, the user will be able to see the translation. Next, we need to translate. We need a component called translator. So if you go over here to the media section, you'll be able to see the translator component over here. So let's bring it in and it will generate its own API key. You don't need to change this. Now we are going to bring in the speech recognizer using which the use user can speak and the mobile will get all the text so that it can translate. And after the mobile translate, it, it, al it also needs to speak out. So for that, we are going to use the text to speech component using which the mobile will speak out the translation. Let's go back to the list picker component over here. And in this section elements from string, you, you need to add the languages, the language code for which you want to translate so that the user can select the language and then you can translate. So let's say you want to add French. So you need to enter the language code for French over here. So you can get all the language codes over here in this website, which I'm going to give in the description below. Now I'm going to click on control F and I'm going to search for French. And over here, you can see that the French language is available and the language code for French is FR. So now I'm going to enter FR over here in this elements from string. Next, I'm, I, let's say I want Spanish. So I'm going to search for Spanish. And again, you have the language code for Spanish, which is ES. So I'm going to put a comma and put ES. And for German, the language code is DE. So I'm going to put it over here. 
so you can add all the languages you want over here in the elements from string of the list picker one the blocks section so first let's we are going to go over here and we are going to create the global variable called language and we are going to set this to be an empty string like this next let's go to the list picker one and after the user picks the language from the list picker one so this is the list picker one select language to translate so when af after the user selects the language which can be either french spanish or german we need to save it in this variable so we are going to set global language to be whatever they select in this list picker so to get that let's go over here and you have an option called list picker one dot selection so this will get the value which this will get the language which the user has selected and store it in this variable next when the user clicks on this button which is the translate button we need to open the speech recognizer so let's go over here to button one and when button one which is the translate button is clicked let's go to the speech recognizer component and we are going to get the text from the user so after the speech recognizer gets the text using the result we are going to translate so let's go to the translator component and you have a block called request translation so in this block you can translate to any language you want so first what we will do is the language to translate to is going to be the language variable the global language variable so we will get the global language which has been selected by the user before and the text to translate will be whatever they spoke in the speech recognizer component and so after they speak we will get the result so let's go over here and we are going to get the result of the speech recognizer component and after the uh, now let's go to the translator and after the translation is done it will call this event when translator one dot got translation now we can use the text to speak and we can also show the translation in the label two so first let's bring in this block set label two dot text to and we are going to use a join block so i'm going to bring in like this and first let's put an empty string and in this string we are going to type translation like this and then after you try type translation we will get the translation so after the translation is finished using this variable you can get the translation and you can show it in the label now we also want the mobile to speak the translation so for that we are going to use text to speech and we will call the text to speak to speak the message of the translation so again we will get the translation and the message for the text to speech is going to be translation now let us test the app and let's see if it is working up here you can see the voice translator app i'm going to click on select language to translate and i'm going to choose french now i'm going to click on translate hello make sure to subscribe you can see that it translated and it shows the translation over here and it using text to speak it also speaks the translation next to create a voice assistant watch this video and also watch my full course of mit app inventor over here